Hi, so my name's Chris from Tunehouse. Got an XR5 in today for pretty much the works as far as suspension goes. Uh, a lot of products to go into this car to really, really tie it down, which is a priority from the customer's point of view. We've got the KW coilovers, uh, the Variant 3 with the Inox, uh, which is the stainless steel coating that goes on them, makes them very resilient from the harsh environment's point of view. And we've also got some products from Whiteline. We've got their front and rear adjustable sway bars. They're any lift kit for the front end geometry as well as the uh, uh, bump steer correction kit. Uh, we're going to put it together uh, with some rear suspension arms of the, of the customers that supplied himself um, and also some special strut tops that we put together here at Tunehouse that are a fully floating design. Um, so we've got complete control in the front end. Okay, so here we have one of the front coilovers from KW. Uh, this is a Variant 3 coilover. There's a few key things to, to take into consideration with the V3s. They're both bump and rebound adjustable. Um, you've got bump on the bottom here and, and the rebound up the top here with a special little tool that they supply. Um, another thing that stands out is the Inox design. Now, that's basically a stainless steel coating that they put right over the coilovers to make them nice and resistant from a corrosion point of view. Something else special you don't see too often are the special collars. Now this is physically your spring seat. It's adjustable from a height adjustable point of view, but it's made from a special plastic so that they don't get noisy as well. Uh, one of the features that you won't get on too many coilover products, which is quite, quite critical to some of our customers because it, it keeps the impact of fitting an aftermarket product to a minimum, uh, nice and quiet. Don't even know they're there other than the car handles great. Okay, so here we have one of the uh, anti-lift kit uh, components from Whiteline. Now, the anti-lift kit uh, effectively is the rear mount uh, for the lower front control arm. And what the, what the anti-lift kit does is two things generally. Um, they provide more caster, uh, which cast is very, very important when it comes to modifying a car. The more you've got, the better. Um, and it also modifies the front end geometry to effectively um, reduce the resistance in the front control arm to put weight over the rear tires. So effectively, it's providing more weight over the front tires under acceleration. Okay, from a static and a dynamic point of view, um, there's some critical differences as well. From a static point of view, when the car's sitting dead flat on a flat ground, not, not driving, um, the static alignment setting, so the improvement in caster and the improvement in geometry, um, is say one degree more caster for instance but the dynamic situation is actually quite more important because this bush allows less flex so you've got more dynamic caster above and beyond that static caster which means when you're driving the less or the, the reduced flex in the bush means that you've got a more significant improvement or a more stable improvement in the uh, geometry and the alignment settings. The other part of the upgrade is the actual uh, upgrade to some white line adjustable sway bars. Now, there's a couple of things to take into consider consideration when you're upgrading the sway bars, and that is generally, depending on the car, um, do both at once. Um, a lot of people tend to sort of try and dial their car in from an understeer and an oversteer point of view by cho choosing one bar or another, which is okay. But where possible, we suggest keeping the balance. Um, do both bars and, and leave uh, the adjustment of, of that bias or that balance of the car to the actual adjustment in the blade. Now, here we have a bar, it is adjustable. You've got two points of adjustment on this bar. Um, the closer hole to the bar itself is probably what you consider the firmer setting um, and the softer setting is furthest away from the bar. Um, now, part of a white line bar, you obviously get the upgraded bushes as well um, and, and some links in this specific instance. Now, all the bush upgrade comes into effect with the sway bar as well because that means that where a, pot, like where a factory bush will actually have to deform slightly when the car rolls and starts to load up the sway bar, a poly bush like this will actually stay more firmer, It'll meaning the bar will react faster. Um, one other thing that's unique uh, is the lateral lock kits. Now this stops the sway bar floating around in the mounts. Um, again, um, it, that goes back to minimizing the effects of an aftermarket product. So this will stop any noises, uh, re resist the temptation for the, for the, for the bar to come in contact with other parts under the car. The last part that we have here is the white line uh, bump steer correction kit. Now, this is relatively simple, uh, box of bolts. However, a lot of engineering goes into it. Um, it effectively repositions the steering rack. Now, bump steer is when uh, the tire changes direction as the suspension travels through bump. Um, what this does is tends to neutralize it to a certain extent. So the geometry and the relationship between your control arms and your tie rods um, is slightly modified by lowering or raising the position of the steering rack. That's all this kit does. Fantastic bit of gear, especially important in a front wheel drive car where they always have a tendency to sort of generally understeer, but more importantly with a high power car like the XR5 Turbos, they've got a lot of grunt. 
put all that power to the ground, hit a slight bump, and if you've got a change in steering direction, it, it, it makes for a diabolical car. This goes a long way to fixing that. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to be fitting to the car today. Uh, this is a longtime customer of Tune House. He's very passionate about handling. Um, he'll even be back in a couple of months' time for some more performance. He's already started to sort of tick those boxes and ask the right questions. Um, but we'll get back to you in video number two with the actual fitting of the products. Um, the guys are going to be working pretty hard to get all this in. Um, and there's a few special tricks. Some we can show you, some we can't. Um, but we're looking forward to the feedback from this customer for sure.